Oh, right on. From the Jeffcom dispatcher who answered the 911 call to the professor who started CPR, the Lakewood police agent who continued compressions, and the West Metro crew that responded, each and every one a member of the team that showed the importance of bystander CPR in giving 23-year-old Naomi McKay her best chance to survive cardiac arrest and realize her future of becoming a college graduate and a bride walking down the aisle for her wedding in June. This is very rewarding to us. Um, we are trained to respond to emergencies and to provide uh, early intervention, CPR, to do all of those things. We don't often get to see the results of our efforts and the outcomes um, that they present to us. Um, this is a particularly uh, rewarding because the story is just amazing. And we have an amazing person that we get to meet that we otherwise wouldn't have without the, and I'll say heroic, efforts of a number of people. Jeff, come 911. What is the address of the emergency? Naomi was on campus at Colorado Christian University when she collapsed. Okay, and I need to confirm, is she awake right now? No, she's not awake. She's unconscious. Is she breathing? She's gasping. In less than a minute, Dr. Mark Parker, a CCU professor, was at her side after students ran to him for help. A 911 call brought Lakewood Police Agent Emily Palatsky to the scene. Then the crew with West Metro Engine 3 and Medic 3 arrived to find CPR in progress, but Naomi without a pulse. The Company 3 crew did everything necessary to bring pulses back to Naomi by performing CPR, obtaining an IV and airway, administering epinephrine and naloxone, and providing a timely defibrillation shock. We immediately, I say we, the crew immediately transported Naomi to St. Anthony Hospital with stable vitals, although she never regained consciousness while in their care. Naomi subsequently spent a few days in the hospital before being released to home. So I don't have any memory of the day of. The memory of the week is really very thin and I am more than grateful that I got to come here when I heard the people who were involved, how many people, all the steps, the statistics of me should, ha should it, of having died on all those different stages. I was so thankful to have good people here and so close by. They responded so quickly and could help me with through all of that. It meant so much to meet them too. I, I can't even say just to see what are the chances you get to look the person in the eye that saved your life and say thank you so much I want to be here without you especially so young too um, my whole life is ahead of me and I never would even have even known if anything had have happened West Metro encourages you to learn CPR for details and training resources go to our website westmetrofire.org learn CPR save lives